Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I am Katie. And I'm Anjali. Hum ajay hai, kaise hai up. Today and we're going to be reacting to the story of Maha Shivatri. Yes. And so I hope you guys have joy- enjoyed Maha Shivatri because it was on mm-hmm. Friday. Yeah. And so yes. we know we missed it. But we are going to do going the Makimo make up Kids and learn a little bit about it because we hadn't heard of it before. No. And I'm going to read a little bit about it on Wikipedia, which you guys can tell me if it's wrong. Because um, Wikipedia is a site where everyone can type stuff in right. you can edit it. So it might be like yes. based off of someone's so opinion. It says, a Hindu festival celebrated in annually in honor of Lord Shiva and in particular marks the nightly of the heavenly marriage and consummation between Shiva and Parvati. Uh, Parvati? I hope I said that right. It's also referred to the night when Shiva performs the heavenly dance. So Friday, February 21st, 2020 was the night. So it was Friday night and the celebration of Lord Shiva. So we've done a few Shiva things. We've yeah. definitely done more little Krishna. Um, yeah. So more um, like Vishnu based mm-hmm. ones. Yeah. Stories. So uh, we did the six. Uh, that was a long time long ago. time ago. <laughs> the six stories of Lord Shiva, how he drinks the poison and his throat goes blue, and he has the snake. And um, mm-hmm. so we've we've learned just yeah like touch a little bit of Lord Shiva. I don't think we've even cracked the surface. No, I'm sure we no. haven't. Well, and, we cracked um, the surface first. Wait. Vishnu? Uh, yes. yes, we've done more Vishnu. Uh, we haven't learned too much and drama. Krishna. Uh, Krishna is a form of Vishnu. Mm-hmm. So, yes. Um, yes, so learning, learning, and mm-hmm. you guys can send us some more links so we can learn some more about Shiva. Yeah. But we mm-hmm. know that Shivratri was on Friday. And so we hope you celebrated it and had a great time. Mm -hmm. And we are going to watch this and learn a little bit more. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Story of Mahashivra. Legend says that Shivratri is celebrated Mm -hmm. as the day when Lord Brahma, the creator of the universe, and Lord Vishnu, the protector of the universe, got into an argument about their supremacy over each other. While engaged in the fight, a shining lingam appeared in between the two of them, going up into the sky through the clouds and seemed to have no beginning or end. Awestruck by its magnitude, Brahma and Vishnu decided to compete to find one end each, with the winner establishing supremacy over the loser. Brahma started his journey into the sky, and Vishnu descended into the depths of the world. Who's gonna win? In his journey, Brahma came across a Ketki flower that had been placed at the top of the lingam but had floated down. He lied by saying that he had reached the top using the flower as his proof. This angered Shiva and he revealed his true form in front of them. He punished Brahma and cursed him that no one would ever pray to him. Lord Shiva made them realize that there was a third power mightier than them, Shiva, the creator, preserver, and the destroyer of the universe. Since this was the first time Shiva manifested himself as a linga, the day is considered to be extremely auspicious and is celebrated as Mahashivratri. Yeah, so this was cute, right? Yeah. What was your favorite part, Jaden? My favorite part is, like, I really love that Shiva has the snake on his neck, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's a cobra. Cobras are my favorite snake because they're the biggest and they're kings of the snake. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it was really interesting because in the story they said how Shiva was the story creator and the protector, and Brahma was only the creator and Vishnu was only the protector. I always thought, like, um... Shiva was just the destroyer, like, was always right. just the destroyer, and then Brahman was the creator and Vishnu was the protector. protector. Mm-hmm. Right. But this is a little bit different, like... and I always thought, like, Brahman was, like, high on top of everybody. Because he's the creator. Yeah, right? but I realized maybe, like, Shiva's very higher than Brahman, so mm-hmm. he's, like, the biggest god. Right. And if he opens that eye, he destroys the world, right? Yeah. That I do remember. Yeah. And um, the lingam, that was, that was like, how I'm assuming it came about. Yeah. And so, like, the first time he came in that form. And so this is, they also said, like, this is one of the s- celebrations that only happens at night as well, yeah. which I thought was interesting. But um, that... Reminds me of the Bahubali scene. It does. Yeah. I was thinking of that as soon as I saw, like, the lines and, like, mm-hmm. the little flower on the top. And I was like, that seems like Bahubali when he brings, like, the big um, lingam to the waterfall for, for his mother. Him. Yeah. Yeah. So And basically, it makes sense for, for this Shiva story because mm-hmm. he was named Shiva. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, like, she kept wanting so she was bathing him so they talked about in this as part of the um, celebration that they Mm -hmm. bathed the lingam the shiva linga in honey and milk at the temples yeah so and she would kept going back and forth and trying to bathe in water she was like this is you know like her we um, have to do it a hundred times so many times yeah you know for Mm -hmm. for shiva and he was like i'm gonna help my mom out so yeah yeah so This is great to learn about, and I hope you guys enjoyed celebrating Mm -hmm. uh, Shivratri on Friday. Yes. And let us know down below in the comments what you guys did, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and join the wonderful Jan family. And we'll see you all tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Bye.